Wait, hold on a minute. Pause the cinematics. Yeah, this is meant to be a comedy series. Well, you know, it's funny, right? Oh, that. Yeah. Whatever. I'll just let the cinematics run. What is up guys and welcome back to F1 2010. I'm back to Snailed It also. Uh, we are, we're here for season 2 of Snailed It and also season 2 of the F1 2010 career mode. Two series that you guys absolutely loved uh, when I was doing them and I can't wait to bring it back to you. We're here in Bahrain. Obviously we're, well we're kind of in the Marussia but we're actually in a virgin. <laughs> Hilarious. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we're driving as Max Chilton, and as you can see, we've had a bit of a snail moment uh, in the first practice session already. So, uh, yeah, it's sort of the same rules of snailed it. If you guys don't know what that is, uh, we basically drive in a Marussia, or in a Virgin in this case, um, and we're just going to try and win the World Championship, obviously. And as we come across the line for our first lap in practice, our first lap back on the game, actually, really, since we uh, did the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, um, for the finale of uh, the first season of F1 2010 career mode. We have another snail moment at the end of P1. Uh, but we actually get pr uh, fourth position in practice. And now as we're jumping in to qualifying, uh, we are in P2. And uh, we're going to go around for our third lap in qualifying. And as we're hitting the apexes, you know, this this Marussia or Virgin, I don't know what to call it. You know, do I call it a Marussia? Do I call it a Virgin? If I call it a Virgin, I'll have 10-year-olds laughing throughout the episode. So I think I'll stick to a Marussia. But anyway, I'm, I'm digressing. And as we cross the line for our third lap in Q1, we go third place and we're a second up. So, uh, yeah, like I say, this Marussia has the aerodynamics of a box. Uh, as we know, and uh, now we're in Q2, uh, yeah, we made it through, and we made it through to Q3 in third position, absolute miracles are happening here, Vettel is quickest, and now as we set a banker time in Q3, that gets us fourth place on the grid, uh, but we're not content with that, the snail is going for another run, and uh, yeah, so uh, as we come towards the end of the first sector, as you can see, uh, we are actually purple, by eight one thousandth of a second, and as we're changing that front arrow, uh, although I'm pretty sure it's just um, a pretty much a button that Marussia have put in there to trick us into thinking that it's actually going to work. But obviously they don't do anything uh, that isn't necessary on the car, so it's basically just a placebo. It, you know that button that I'm pressing uh, doesn't actually do anything. The only thing that works are, uh, is that the the steering wheel uh, turns the the wheels, and that's about it. The accelerator sort of works the engine. But as you can see, we get P2 on the grid. We're just two one hundredths off pole position, or three one hundredths actually, uh, from Mark Webber. But what a qualifying session that was. As you can see, uh, there were a few cars that didn't run. I, in fact, three cars, P8 down to P10. That Schumacher, Vettel and Petrov didn't run in the session, uh, which sort of played into our hands, if I'm honest. Uh, but here we are, it is race time, we are back on F1 2010, and, well, I'll take a screenshot of that, Chilton P2, our teammates at the back of the grid, and uh, 24 cars on the grid, uh, which is kind of a lot better than we're getting in 2014, uh, but anyway, the lights are coming on for the start of the 2010 season, I'm pointing towards Weber. I'm going to try and wipe him out into turn one, obviously I'm just kidding, but we are away for the season 2 of F1 2010 career mode. We've got an absolutely awful start, and uh, we're down into P4. As we come into Turn 1, we're going to go try and go around the outside of Jensen Button. Uh, but uh, as you can see, our video footage was probably supplied by the Marussia team themselves because it, it actually just cut out. Uh, as we go through turn one, you'll have to take my word for it that we actually did get up to P2. Um, I, there was honestly, hand on heart, I didn't mess with the footage at all. Uh, it was just, I don't know what happened. I think the, the footage had a bit of a snail moment, to be honest. Uh, my PVR is about 10 years old. Uh, but anyway, we're right on the tail of Mark Webber, and we are in P2. Maybe going to go around the outside here, uh, but we just stick in behind, and we're going to try and launch it over the crest. And uh, this is the sort of like the old section of the circuit that they just used for the 2010 Grand Prix. I think it was something to do with it being the 60th anniversary of Formula One or something. Uh, something that was pretty ridiculous because it was an awful section of track. But I actually seem to be making up quite a lot of time on AI, so I can't really complain. 
Uh, we're sticking it in behind Weber as we come into this horrible double left-hander. Going to be lockups galore this weekend. Uh, but as we hit that apex beautifully, uh, I've been taught well by the cucumber Narain Karthikeyan. Um, and uh, yeah, as we come onto the start of lap two, we've, oh my god, we've locked the tyres and we've spun it. Uh, I'm pretty sure Marussia have just trolled us. Uh, they've probably just pressed the button like... Uh, just you know, just try and fool us into thinking that uh, we're we're gonna actually get P2, uh, but we're down to P3 anyway, and I'm not making any sense at all in this episode. Uh, but we've got Massa just ahead of us anyway. He's overtaken us, which is a great shame uh, because now Weber has absolutely bolted into the distance. Uh, but as you can see, our tyres are going off already, and while well, that Ferrari is going much slower than ourselves, and we're gonna maybe try and hook it around the outside here. It doesn't quite work. Maybe the second chance, as we're really just trying to get the undercut on Massa. And now as we're going to maybe go around the outside of him, maybe dance around here. And it doesn't quite work. And uh, Massa is hopefully not going to bolt off into the distance. We do seem to have a bit of pace as Massa goes into the pit lane, breaks violently, as the AI tend to do on this game, which is pretty frustrating. But hey, what can you do? And they're still better than they are in 2014, lol. And uh, yeah, anyway, at the end of lap three, we're going to come into the pit lane for our first and only stop of the weekend, or of the race, if you like. Uh, we've still gone quicker than our previous lap, which is actually quite concerning. Uh, the fact that we've come into the pit lane and still set the fastest lap uh, of our Grand Prix. Anyway, hopefully the Marussia guys are going to give us a good stop. Is it sub 20 seconds? Yes, it is. It's four seconds. Uh, the pit stops, as you guys probably know, on this game have a tendency to be very, very long. But the Marussia guys have not let us down. And we are up, well, sorry, down into 12th position. Uh, a Marussia in 12th position would usually be going up into 12th, but we've actually gone down into 12th. Uh, we've got Master behind us, so we've jumped him in the pit stage. And we've got an absolute cluster of cars ahead of us. And hopefully we are going to be able to clear them. Uh, we've got past Kobayashi. We've got past Senna, is that? And, uh, well, Chilton and Senna running wheel to wheel. Uh, I'm sure Ayrton and Senna would have loved to rub... Uh, wheels with uh, Chilton. That sounded so wrong. Uh, but anyway, uh, we go around Bruno Senna for P10. We're in a points paying position and there's still an absolutely, well, there are loads of cars coming into the pit lane. Uh, we haul the slipstream of, I believe it was a Lotus, but I'm really not sure. Anyway, coming out of the pit lane now, that's Lewis Hamilton. He's nearly jumped us in the pits. Uh, but we are up into P4, and I believe there's still a couple of cars who haven't pitted. We run ridiculously wide at turn one. Nonetheless, we are up into P4, as, and that, that makes actually P3, as someone else must have come into the pit lane. Uh, but we've got Weber just ahead of us now, and this is effectively for the race lead, because Sutton hasn't pitted yet. And we've caught right back up to Mark Weber, and maybe we're going to try and undercut him once again. And we just had to put on the brakes, because Weber got out of shape. Uh, but the snail is all, always aware, and uh, yeah, we're going to maybe make a move in this section of track, if anything, because we're so strong in this uh, sort of the start of the middle sector. Uh, the AI are just ridiculously slow, I think, because I can't imagine this Marussia be ridiculously fast. I think it's more like the inverse. But uh, anyway, we're trying to dance around Weber once again. It doesn't quite work. Uh, but nonetheless, we are going to stick on the tail of the Australian who we uh, pipped to the title as in the ultimate career uh, on F1 2010, but we just can't find the way past. It's as if Red Bull have just built a complete shield, and um, we're going to maybe go around the outside this time. No, we can't, so we're going to try and dive back down the inside. Uh, once again, it doesn't work, so uh, pretty ridiculous stuff here from Weber. He's defending like a god and come lap 8 now as we cut a lap later into the Grand Prix. We're still on his tail. But this final sector, we seem to be losing quite a bit of time. Uh, the Marussia has literally got no straight line speed. It has got a lawnmower engine in it, and that is not going to help the cause whatsoever. The auto spin curbs obviously spin us off. And now we've got Lewis Hamilton just behind us, and he's going to pass us. Wow, that's not good. Uh, we're down into third. Uh, never would I thought that in this Marussia I'd be disappointed with third position. But, oh my god, I've never seen such a bad exit that... Uh, Hamilton got, but his Mercedes engine is far superior to our lawnmower, I mean Cosworth engine. Um, and he's bolted, uh, whoring his slipstream and maybe going to get around the outside as he blocks us off a treat. We lock our left front, we're just going to try and not spin the thing this time. 
uh, as Weber absolutely bolts off into the distance. Obviously, we can still get P2 off Hamilton, and, and now we're still on lap 9, actually. We're going to try and dance around the outside, because this is it. You know, if we manage to get him, we may still get Weber on lap 10. Pretty easy move, to be honest, on the McLaren driver. And there is only one number one British driver in this, um, well, season, and it is Max Shelton. Uh, but come the end of lap 10, we just could not get the pace to pass Weber. Uh, we came so near, and yet we are so far. Uh, in this Marussia, never would I have thought that we would have started off the season with a podium. Absolutely no upgrades on the car, but we come round the final corner in the first race of this F1 2010 snailed it season. And we have got P2. Absolutely fantastic stuff. I really can't believe that we did this. You know, starting second on the grid and finishing second in the race is something that's actually unbelievable in such an absolute box of a car. And as you can see there, there is confirmation of the race results. We get P2. Vitaly Petrov in P4. He seems to be putting in some good performances. Um, well, in, I believe he put in a good performance in the F1 2011 career mode. Uh, but as you can see, there were no retirements from the race. That's quite interesting, actually. And, uh, yep, yeah, two Brits on the podium, but there is only one dominant Brit, and that is, of course, Mr. Chilton. Uh, obviously, the driver's standings are the same as the race results. Uh, seeing as we've obviously only had one race, um, I would like to see the constructor standings. We're in P3, Virgin as they are called, so shall I call them Virgin, shall I call them Marussia? Like I say, I don't want chortling 10 year olds uh, in the comments, um, you know, saying how funny saying Virgin every 10 seconds is. <laughs> but anyway, we are, well, I wouldn't have thought that we'd been in the press conference, but thank you so, so much for tuning in, guys. I have thoroughly enjoyed recording another Snail It and another F1 2010 episode. It sort of combines my favourite two series, if you like. Uh, so, yeah, I'll see you in Malaysia next time. I'm going to do a full 20 race season just because I enjoy it so much. I've already recorded five episodes, I think. So uh, I think that tells you a lot about how much I enjoy this compared to F1 2014. I'm going to have some Ultimate Career coming up later on in the week as well as some F1 2014 gameplay. And I'll see you then, guys. Thank you once again. Bye-bye.